uh, Representative Zach Nunn, look, if I can have a moment of your time, I, I'm a psychology major and I'm almost done with my degree. I'm, I'm working on a project on transphobia for my capstone class. Um, I'm also transgender and I, I think I have a pretty unique perspective on this. So um, I, I hope I can have a moment of your time. But look, uh, did you know that even 55% of Republicans agreed with the statement that uh, said that uh, anti-trans legislation like we've seen in our state is um, political theater that's driving a wedge between voters? Well, only 11% of people know a trans person. And that might not seem like a lot, but in terms of election results, you I mean, I'm sure you know 11% can well swing an election. Um, so I think there's benefits to both of us in considering our positive representation. Um, because people tend to see things in terms of in-groups and out-groups. And um, if people aren't seeing us, then they're seeing us as an out-group, as, as an other. And I know you're caught between a rock and a hard place. Most people are sick of these bills, but you have to appeal to your base as well. Um, but if you consider positive representation, um, such as in education and media and the influence that could have, you can kind of have your cake and eat it too. You can appeal to the majority while also having some influence on uh, de-radicalizing people's views about us. Um, because the thing is, um, people who have had more positive media representation with trans people um, also uh, have less anti-transgender bias. So you can alleviate this tension by simply letting people see us. Um, so in summary, I uh, hope that you will consider um, voting against efforts to uh, reduce our visibility and instead um, support measures to increase them, which appeal to the majority of voters. Because the thing is, if people know us, they're 78% likely to be opposed to us, opposed to these uh, bills. So I hope that you will consider um, having your cake and eating it too.